Hello there guys, for today's video, I'm going to show you how to remove sweat patch in Photoshop. And also we will dive deeper into duplicating layer, using a quick selection tool, using fill, and adding mask and using a brush tool. So let's get started. So here in our document, I got here an image of this man, where you will notice here that his shirt have a sweat patch. And our goal here is to remove that. So the first step we're going to do here is we're going to create a duplicate layer of our background layer. So to do that, going on to the layers panel, right click on the background layer, and then choose duplicate layer. And this one, let's name this layer as sweat patch removal. And then select OK. Now the next step we're going to do here is we're going to create a selection only on this sweat patch. So to do that, with the sweat patch removal layer selected, I am going to the toolbar and find the quick selection tool. So actually, it's here on the fourth tool. It shows this symbol. And by the way, if you find this video helpful so far, please consider subscribing to help YouTube algorithm show my videos to other nerds like us. Going back, now let's create a selection uh, with that quick selection tool selected. For the options, I'm going to set this one to add selection and then to create a selection on those sweat patch, I'm going to click and drag to make selection on it. So it's something like this. All right. Now with this selection, I'm going to the menu bar, go to edit, under edit, choose fill. And this dialog, this fill dialog box will appear. For the contents, set that to content aware. For the mode to normal, to opacity to 100. And once set, select OK. All right. Now look what happened when I did that. Now it already removed the sweat patch on it. But if I'm going to deselect that, so press Ctrl plus D, the edges is not that smooth. And also the knitted part here on the underarm is also removed. So our goal here is to bring that back. But how to do that? OK, with the sweat patch removal layer selected, I'm going to add a mask. So go here at the bottom, click on this. Now we already have this white thumbnail. Make sure that you're selecting on that. And then go to the toolbar and find the brush tool or B for the shortcut key. Okay, now I'm going to zoom this one in first. Get your brush for the foreground. I'm going to set this one to black for the opacity to 100. And then increase the size of the brush by pressing the close bracket key okay and then i'm going to follow this line something like this right and also on this area all right so now we already found that part the one that that is neat okay now the next step here is we're going to remove those black part so to do that we're just going to with the brush tool selected I am going to change the foreground to white. So to do that, all you have to do is to press X or just click this one. Okay. Now I'm going to zoom this one in for the detailed removal of that black areas. Okay. So again, B for that. And then make sure that you're selected on the thumbnail and foreground is white. And now let's remove these areas on the, this part. All right, now this one is cool. All right, so I'm going to zoom this one out. All right, so those lines or those knitted lines are already back. Okay, now next up here is we're going to fix those edges. The, it looks like it has a stain on it, right? Okay, now zoom this one in. And now this time, I'm going to make use of a clone stamp tool. Going on to the toolbar, find the clone stamp tool. It's over here. Or S for the shortcut key. For the options, I'm going to set that to 100. And then for the brush, I'm going to adjust the hardness into around 50%. Okay. All right. And then let's you start using this. So to use this one, all you have to do is to press Alt and hold it and get a sample from a clean area. So just like here. All right. So I already get a sample. Now let's just paint on it. But before you paint that, make sure that you're not clicking on that mask thumbnail. But I'm going to click on this layer thumbnail. All right, this one. Now let's start applying this clone stamp tool. Okay, let's paint on this area. See? Okay, so just by 
have said, press out, get a sample, and paint. All right, this one look well for me. Okay, now let's zoom this one out. Okay, now we already fixed that. So I'm going to show you the before and after. So this one is the before, and this one is the after. And that is how to remove sweat patch on shirt in Photoshop.